All right, welcome everyone to some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup stuff with the Tengu that we were playing previously. Um, I don't remember anything about this character. I honestly wasn't paying attention. Uh, what, what are we doing? Playing this game, I think. There's like flight or something, I don't know. Oh, at some point we leveled up and we got instant flight, permanent flight, which means we have an, an incredible one extra evade forever. Be beautiful, wonderful, amazing. Uh, gotta finish dungeon, gotta do orc, and then maybe do a first uh, rune today. Gloriously enough, uh, we don't have swamp, which is the new hotness, the new busted. The new and busted, you know what I mean? Like, the absolute broken uh, dumpster child of, you know, a branch, you know, dev balancing a bull, basically all that stuff. Um, yeah, like, uh, the harpoon shot really is gonna be a nightmare. Um, thankfully I don't have to deal with it this game, but, you know, eventually I will have to deal with it. Once we're at level 14, though, um, which we're at now, with the perma flight on, we are pretty good as a race, honestly. We have the same move speed as, like, a generic dude, uh, with a little bit extra speed. I don't- I wouldn't say field speed, I don't know how, how, how fast fields are, but we're pretty damn fast. Um, we're decently fast, at least. We have perma flight, which is honestly more important because we just don't have to cost- spend that two mana and remember to do it over and over again. So, you know, it's still good um, to have regardless. Permaflight is very nice. Can turn it off, of course. Why would you turn it off? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, cold Breath usually is one of them. Airstrike is another one. You know, just avoid taking a shitload of damage from those particular attacks. If I can remember to do that, then should be alright. Should be A-OK. -okay. Um, yeah, and also Permanent Flight just basically turns us into a Gargoyle, which is funny because Gargoyle is so much better than Tengu. But, you know, that's beside the point. We'll pretend for a moment here that, you know, this is anything more than a, uh... This is something a little bit more than just a regular garbage version of Gargoyle. But then again, most things are a garbage version of Gargoyle. So, mm, meh. Ooh, green tiles. Usually only see these in depths. Pretty good, actually. Uh, I like, I like the look of them. I don't know if I like the idea, the fact that I'm gonna have to, like, be fighting all these guys. I don't think I can even... Ooh, Glowing Obelisk. Obelisk of Freezing. Absolutely worthless for this character, but that's fine. Acceptable. Actually, you know what? What I can do is I can drop this regular Obelisk. I can go over here and I can pick up this Obelisk. And I don't know what the hell that's gonna be for, but I'm assuming it's for something useful. So, whatever. So yeah, basically these, uh... Oh yeah, these, these, this flying is kind of like Boots of Running, I'd say. It's most, most similar to. Uh, another announcement that I'm going to be just making in the middle of the video, like normal, I'll also remind people at the end, uh, is that tomorrow I will probably be doing the Darkest Dungeon thing, rather than on Sunday. That's a very rare occurrence, the only reason why is because I have a LAN on Sunday, which uh, might take all day, and I don't want to I don't want to risk losing the weekly dungeon, the Darkest Dungeon stuff. Um, so I probably will be recording tomorrow rather than on the Sunday. That is the Amulet of Vitality, and that is an Amulet of RF RC Strength plus 4. There's also a Ring of RF plus RC minus for plus 1 Ring of Evasion. That's all garbage. Give me that 15 health, goddammit. Give it to me now. Yes. Alright, we've ascended. We've become the ultimate warrior. We've become an actual, like, character. We have plus 5 slay. We have a shitload of random stuff. We have an incredible weapon. And we have 15 health and regen from the Amulet. Which is possibly one of the best things that could have been given to me, which is awesome. Very happy about the way that this run has gone. We've only gotten two of the most absolute top tier ran on randarts in the game, and also we've also uh, we randomly picked up a incredibly busted broken weapon as well. So you know, obviously, this is a fairly standard run. I would expect that every run goes like this. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and see what this is. Plus two RF or plus two RC? Which one's better? Uh, well, it looks like the plus two RF because for some reason I already have RC. Where do I have it from? I have no idea. Oh, from the ring. Okay, cool. Which I didn't want. That's an Arpoise Strength plus six, Dex plus nine ring, which uh, destroys everything that I have so far. That's incredible. It's a lot of strength, a lot of Dex, which is good. But it's an Arpoise ring, most importantly. It's also probably better than the slaying. Um, Damn, that's a lot of good shit we have right now. This Fire Dragon scale is probably never going to be used. I'm going to go heavier than uh, Fire Dragon for sure. Now that I've like looked at the way my character is turning out. I also have 17 evade with um, with some extra dodging. So I probably should just try to train some dodging right now. 
gonna turn invocations off actually. I don't need it to be that high. I like to get it to 12 on a lot of characters, but on this character I think it's fine to just get it to 9 or something like that. Uh, I would say the absolute minimum for a game would be at least 8, uh, just to get your heroism down, uh, your finesse down to like a respectable 1 or 2% fail. Uh, I like to get it to 12 because Aquara tends to be so good that it doesn't matter and I like having that little bit of extra duration. I enjoy using it. I absolutely do spam the hell out of um out of my heroism finesse but I don't even have to on this character. It's just he's just too strong. I'm gonna train more strength. Not really for any reason particularly. I already have 25 decks with a plus 9 dex ring which is you know obviously incredibly busted. Um, I mean, not incredibly busted, but it's still pretty good. I think it's giving us like 4 of 8, which is pretty damn good um, for how much it, it costs. It, like, it's on a good slot as well, because it's our poise, which is going to be useful for the entire game. So there's really no like downside to this. I also have like a decent coverage of res resistances outside of my own, um, outside of that slot as well. So I'm doing, I'm doing fairly well for myself. Alright. Uh, this is really bad. Let's finesse and heroism here. Kill the shadow because he's going to obviously hurt me the worst. Then just back off and just fight all these guys. Not bad. This is the vault's entrance. It's a bit scary, but because we one-shot everything, we're okay, mostly. Just going to walk away here. Uh, he's tormenting me, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. I don't even know how he's doing that much damage considering I have RN triple plus, but you know. That's why I like RN Triple Plus. It's so useful, as you can tell. That's why it's the ideal. Actually, I don't think this is, um... That is Crystal Plate Armor. Well, remember when I said this character couldn't get any more broken? I didn't say that, but, you know, I was thinking it the whole time. Uh, let's see. Plus 15? RF Double Plus, RC Double Plus? Ah, god damn it. It's only, it's only... Ah, it's so garbage. It's only plus zero. Like, ugh. That's fine though, I'll just keep it on because why not? It has Contam on, so I don't really want to waste my time and accidentally, you know, get a bad mute that could make the run a little bit more unfun than it already is. Sorry, any less fun than it is right now. Like, I'd rather just keep it on for the time being and then, you know, if I find something that's obviously going to be better, then I'll switch. Having the RF isn't really super important. I already have a ring for that, I think. No, I don't actually. Never mind. Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Anything that gets in my way, I can just shoot down. I mean, I'm beating the centaurs in firefights now, so I'm doing alright. Doing alright for myself, indeed. Ooh, a deep troll. Ooh, a 10-speed enemy that I can just run away from. Oh no, it's an Eden. If only I could just shoot him with my big shot thing. Okay, that's a vampire. I do not want to be part of that. I'm just going to shoot diagonally like this. I'm not even going to look at what's over there. Like, invisibility doesn't matter if I'm not even shooting at anything. I'm just shooting, like, directly at a corner. I don't care. I have no qualms about that. Ah, uh, this is where the crossbow is a little bit scary. When you're fighting a lot of guys that could do a lot of damage to you, but you're using a, uh, a slow-as-fuck weapon, and they're all in pack form, so they can all fight you. Um, I'm pretty sure he's up there. Yeah. I guessed he was up there. Just go ahead and shoot up. As you can see, we really need that C invis ring. It's very useful. We've just been shooting randomly to counteract that. Alright, gonna take a quick pot shot at that red guy. That's good for a kill. Quick pot shot. Cyclops, ow. A weapon. Another triple crossbow for me? Damn. A plus six triple crossbow, nothing for me? Wow. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna enchant the hat, why not? It's one extra AC. It's not like I can wear, wear a helmet anyway, so, eh, whatever. I mean, between hats and, like, cloaks, which one would be more, um... I honestly don't know which one would be more, like, likely to replace. I'd say that, like, cloaks generally are pretty rare, but hats are also really rare, so it's hard to say. I don't know. Can't make up my mind, actually, on that one. Alright, just gonna go ahead and, like, stab a couple of these guys. I might as well, um, conserve bolts while I can. There's no point in, like, just going crazy over it, if it's not gonna even give me any benefit. Okay, gonna try to kill Snorg. Okay, he's not he's not cooperating with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot him from full screen then. You wanna be like that? You can absolutely be like that. Over there. In the hole. Getting filled with bolts. Bolts. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like try to play by your rules, man. I'm not a part of your system. You know what I mean? 
make my own rules. Oh fuck, that's a stone giant. Hey, remember those guys? Remember stone giants? I remember stone giants. Fuck, that was scary. Why is there one on Orc 1? I don't know. That's why I don't like Orc, in general. Like, random stone giant spawns are, like, not fun at all. <laughs> Just randomly popping up for no reason. I hate it. <sighs> anyway, that's fine. The orc grunts loudly. Why was that highlighted? I don't understand. Is that like a noise thing? Is that, is that what's happening? What's going on here? I don't I don't get it. Why did he grunt loudly and why was that highlighted in the text? That was odd. That was interesting. Oh no, a great sort of electrocution. If only. If only we had a strategy against that. Rune plate armor, huh? I mean, theoretically, it could be better than the crystal plate if it has a good enchantment. It's poison resist. Nah, it's not that good. Any other plates? Nah. Just the crystal plate I'm holding. Plus zero crystal plate armor is really not, like, great. It's okay, but it's just, nah, it's whatever. It's very heavy, and given that we get percentage-based decks, I'm sorry, percentage-based evade, probably isn't ideal for the Tengu. Um, because flight, of course, gives percentage uh, evade, I'm pretty sure. It's not a flat bonus. Otherwise, it would... I'm pretty sure it's not a flat bonus, anyway. It could be. I have no idea, actually. Let's Heroism Finesse here against Rupert. Might as, well, might as well kill him now, because otherwise, like, I'll just have to reset the fight anyway, and he'd be melee with me that time. So, eh. Wow, we are really killing a lot of stuff here. And we're using a lot of bolts, and that was paralysis. Ow. Just gonna quickly back off. Stab a couple of goons. There's a lot of dudes here. That's I understand why, but man, that's a lot of guys. I don't like that. Hopefully we can just get to the shop. I was wondering if that was distortion. That was a lot of like force mores that I was seeing there. An unusual amount, to say the least. Shiny plate arm, probably not worth it at this point. Nothing in that shop at all. Wow, that was pretty bad. Uh enchant weapon, nah. Summoning cancellation, both pretty nice. Uh, resistance is also pretty nice. Might as well pick up the rash. The bookstore is worthless to me. Like, I can't even think of a single thing. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Uh, uh, manual of fighting crossbows or something else. This is really happening to us. We're actually getting killed by a single guy. That's depressing. Okay. I understand. I get it. Wow, he's really... Yeah, he's really just dodging my shit. Like, he's... He does not give a fuck at all about anything we're doing. Damn. I respect that. Okay, uh, let's go to the spider's nest. So a spider is going to be naturally quite scary for this character, um, if I'm using the crossbow. The, the slow attack speed combined with the fact that everything here is really fast means I could take quite a bit of damage before I, you know, get my second shot up. So being surrounded is uh, especially dangerous for, he for here. Meaning, maybe I should consider training for that short blade, get that, like, weapon up, just have an extra weapon, in case. Like, I want to avoid standing in the middle of everywhere, getting surrounded by a billion guys and fighting with the crossbow. It just seems like a scary position to be in, just because I take more damage. I mean, theoretically, they can't do much to me, but I don't know why I finessed twice there. That was an accident. I wasted a lot of piety. Oh my god, Donald has a shield reflection. Fuck, I'm gonna die. Alright, um, that is not ideal for this character. Having a shield reflection just completely bones my strategy of, uh, killing people with projectiles. I think I have to just skip this floor. I actually just have to skip. I don't really have another way to deal with him. Unless I go, like, heroism, finesse, haste, might, agility, and then I just kill him with the dagger. I mean, that's also an option. It's actually not even a bad option, to be honest. It's just a lot of resources that I'm going to use. Don't know if that's exactly ideal for this character. Ow, it's a lot of damage. <coughs> I mean, technically this character has a good amount of health because of the um, because of the amulet of vitality. So I shouldn't be worried as if it's a regular Tengu, but it is still an, a consideration to make. My swing speed is very slow. Or well, my fire rate. Swing speed, fire rate, same thing. Ooh, give me more ammunition. Hell yeah. I don't know why Trog's like... Uh, sorry, Aquar is deciding to give me ammunition now. Why are you here? Real talk. Why are you here, Donald? I thought we put you over on the other staircase. On, on Snake 2. How did you even do that? 
Okay, apparently we just three-shot him. Fine. Okay, that also works. That is a respectable strategy as well. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Sure. Uh, plus four ring of decks? I don't want that. I don't want that at all. In fact. So the dodging training is going pretty well. And Aquar is giving me more ammunition, which is awesome. Oddly enough, he wasn't when he was trying to give me armor and stuff. I thought the two timers were different and separate and unrelated, but... You know, maybe it's not. You never know. You never know with these kind of things. Uh, let's just not fight with the dagger. I mean, not fight with the crossbow in deep water. I'd rather not lose my bolt. It's not really, like, a super important consideration, considering I have Okawaru, but... Like I said, I like to play conservatively, even if it doesn't really mean a lot in the long run. It's just good habits. Okay. Heroism Finesse on Mara. We just killed him. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Demon Whip of Draining. That's a pretty decent weapon. I don't know if it's actually a weapon that I want to use as a sidearm, considering this weapon is so damn strong. I mean, the Dagger of Venom is probably good enough, right? I don't think I need another weapon. Ooh, just regular Crystal Plate. Ooh, is that worth it? Not really. I don't think I want regular Crystal Plate. It's not, like, quite good enough. It's, it's quite good, but it's not good enough. Okay, let's shoot it. Uh... Cersei? Sir, Sir, Sergei? Sergei? Ow! Damnation. I still don't remember what the fucking pronunciation is. I, I actually... I said it right once. Someone corrected me. I forgot which one was the correct one. And now I don't remember it all. Like, it, it pisses me off. It just, it just really pisses me off. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why it's like that. It just is. Ah. <sighs> Alright, yeah, this is like the the nightmare scenario, where there's just like a shitload of open enemies and I'm just firing with 1.3 attack speed. Okay, not bad. Um, should we train anything else? Do we need more armor? I, probably, I guess we can keep training armor, it's not really that important, I suppose. Get behind cover. Oh, he still hit me, what the hell? Fucking curveballed me there. Ow! You scumbags. <laughs> he, we're losing in a firefight to these fucking orbs of destruction, man. It's not on. Oh, they, they, they disrupted each other. Nice. Because they collided. Oh god. Oh god. There's a thing here. There's a ghost moth here. I think we either one-shot it or... Yeah, I think we one-shot it. Nice. Whew, that's good. How are we losing to these guys? I don't understand. We're fucking, like, so strong. I don't get it. Alright, create a, create a fort. Duck behind the thing. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Reminds me of my Doom RL days. Back in the day, when I was playing Doom RL. One of my OG fucking roguelikes. Clearly. Yeah, the demonic crawler will get killed by the old destruction. Not me. Not today. Alright, this is, I forgot this was Spider 4, I was about to teleport too, like in one of those earlier situations for some reason. Completely forgot that I was, uh, I was in uh, Spider 4. Really? I didn't kill him yet? Really? That's dumb. How have I not killed you yet, dude? Come on now, there we go, jeez. Like, you're not that strong, Ghost Moth. Not against a melee, well, I'm basically a melee character. I wouldn't say I'm a mage character at all. I mean, I'm definitely, like, in crystal plate armor, I'm definitely a melee character. With d just so happens to be shooting stuff. Sounds like a weird definition. If you think about it, it's actually not. We're actually a real melee character. We're a tank. We just have, um... Our weapon just so happens to be, like, not specifically melee. We can use it in melee, though. It's like a gun. Alright, we're just confused stabbing stuff. I don't care. I'm just gonna fight. With 32 hit uh, armor, I don't think they can really punch through my defense that well. Alright, this looks like a free teleport vault. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec. Okay, I know that he's right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot the Tarantella first. There we go. Nice kill. Oh. Keep shooting. 
So this is what I mean by free teleport. I'm gonna just close that door off. I'm gonna explore this whole area. Ow, 1.3 attack speed. Come on, don't kill me, please. You're not that strong, thank you. Alright, just explore the entire floor. And then what you do here is you get to this point here, you unexclude, you read a teleport, open the door, shout, walk back, and then wait a couple of hundred turns. And just like that, you've already cleared the vault. There's no need to worry about it. Um, so now everything is dispersed in that area. I can just kind of sit here at the entrance, just watch things come out one by one as I kill them. Oh no, maybe they come out two at a time. It's fine. Free kill. And that stupid go uh, berserk moth that's sometimes there is also not even relevant to this character. <coughs> so yeah, that was that was like a free teleport vault. I, I like that vault because it's just so easy to do. I mean, this character didn't need to do that, but I just wanted to demonstrate the tactic. Oh man, we've been going through this game real fucking fast. <laughs> Whoops. Like, we're actually already at Shoals, or already at a second rune. Um, so Tengu doesn't really have a problem with Shoals. Uh, flight isn't, like, a huge deal for this character. Sorry, uh, like, the water isn't a huge deal for the character. The only guys that I would say give Tengu the problems, uh, like, problems in Shoals, would be the, the Mesmerizers and the Gust guys. Those guys, uh, the, the Wind Drakes. Okay, I'm going to Heroism here just to get some extra defense. One thing you got to remember about Heroism is, is it's not just an offensive buff. It's actually really going to give you a lot of extra utility and everything. I think it also gives you fighting, which also gives you a little bit of extra damage and a little bit of extra accuracy or something like that. I don't know. <coughs> Alright, so every time I get mesmerized, I'm just going to Heroism, like, immediately. That's just going to make sure that I don't die accidentally. We will be losing quite a lot, lot of bolts here, which is unfortunate, but I assume that by the time we get to uh, vaults, we'll be picking up a shitload more, so it's okay. Trade more strength, of course, because we're wielding some really heavy armor right now. I think I also want to eventually go for gold dragon armor. That's probably the ideal for this character. Um, crystal plate's okay, but the resistance spread is amazing, so I'm going to avoid that. Okay, just kind of stand over here, read a scroll of random uselessness. Ring of positive energy. Positive vibes only. No negative ones, please. None at all. Okay, we're getting slept. Heroism finesse here. Get out of the line of sight of the dream sheep. I don't know if that actually fixes anything, but whatever, do it anyway. Just kind of stand back. We've got a shitload of spells. Wow, that's a lot. Did they change the font size for this? No, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Maybe they did. It looks. It definitely looks smaller than it used to. I don't know what that was all about. Maybe I was just making that up. I don't know. I can't tell. I actually can't tell. Wait, actually, wait. No, that's that's correct. I was like, am I in the wrong s size of screen? Because if you look at it closely, my screen size normally is actually this. So I can't see shit, obviously. I had to zoom in to 125%, so it's normal. It looks a little bit more normal. Um, You know what? Let's just pick up the Demon Trident of Draining. It's a decent weapon to pick up. It's a good, like, secondary weapon anyway. We'll train a tiny amount of... We'll put, we'll put like, a couple of points into Pole Arms. Just give it a little bit of damage, you know. Not too much, obviously. Maybe even the Demon Whip is better, to be honest. Could be. But I like the Reach, anyway. Not a huge deal. <laughs> we accidentally shot the, 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 uh, the guy who was mesmerizing us to death. Okay, let's finesse it. This is actually kind of a scary position to be in. The Wind Drake is def uh, has deflect missiles on, and it does extra damage to us because we are flying. I can't be bothered to stop flying, so I'm just gonna keep shooting. Um, that's actually how lazy I am. I will literally buff up just to avoid not flying anymore, because it's too annoying. Otherwise, <laughs> I mean, say what you will about Dungeon Crawl Stone Suit being uh, fucking grind. That, that shit is, like, ridiculous. Alright, let's heroism finesse here. There's too many guys. I don't like being mesmerized. I don't appreciate it. I'm just gonna kill you as quick as I can. I'm gonna run away. You, you fuck. Ow. Don't ever do that again. Please. Don't you ever look my way again. <sighs> 
All right, the bolts the bolts are really hurting now. We're really starting to, to pick up some damage. But we're throwing bolts into the water and it's pissing me off, man. It's really pissing me off. I'm gonna have to try to aim at the ground. Ooh, embroidered scarf. Let's see what that is. Protective shield. Hmm, is that actually good? Let me think. Yeah, that's decent. It's extra HP. Um, it doesn't, and we don't really use uh, anything other than heroism finesse anyway. And we should be doing that earlier before we take the damage. Stop making me throw the damn bolts into the water. Stand in shallow water like a real person. Oh, great. Right as I said that. Oh, what is wrong with these Cyclopses? Why are there so many of you today? It's International Cyclops Day, apparently. There's another one! What the fuck? There must be a vault. There must be a vault. There's no way there's no vault here. Like, there can't just be that many Cyclopses just, like, hanging out, just chilling around. Is it this thing? Oh, it actually is. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, like, that's absurd. That's too many. Oh, there, there he is. Yeah, wow. You're guarding... How much are you guarding? Uh, 60 pieces of gold. Wow, what a fucking vault. What an amazing vault. Like, you got 10 Cyclops security guards. They're guarding, like, 60 bucks. <laughs> what a fucking genius move that is. This is definitely not going to lose you any money at all. Alright, shoot the stupid merfolk woman. Like, the one thing I don't like about the merfolk, and I've said this before, but I haven't really said it since because I kind of normalized it, is that the merfolk tiles are really not that great anymore. It's kind of like elf. They're all not distinct anymore. They used to be far more distinct, and that's complete. like, I, you can't really argue with that. They were a lot more distinct but previously. You could definitely tell what the difference was between, like, the different merfolk, but now it's, like, kind of mixed. I can't really tell the difference between a regular merfolk and a siren. Like, it's just, uh, don't like tiles that are, like, really samey, you know what I mean? Like, I like to have tiles that are different, I like them to be different colours, like, all that good shit. Gotta focus the dream sheet for the time being. Holy fuck, okay. Heroism finesse. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting shot up. I'm gonna go ahead and just teleport right now. That's too scary. Just shoot those two merfolk out of the way. That's a lot of merfolk. Okay, let's go invisible here. Looks weird. Very powerful against uh, merfolk who cannot see invisible. Just completely shreds them. In fact, almost nothing in shoals can go in, can see invisible. Meaning, it, once you go in, invis in shoals, you basically become invulnerable for a short period of time, which is awesome. Uh, should definitely focus down. Not that wind drake. Wind drake's a little bit less important. Okay, we... Something happened to us there. Just gonna slowly make my way up, back to the upstairs. Okay, definitely gonna blink here. Definitely gonna blink. Yeah, okay. Well, we survived that. We took out a lot of guys. That's not too bad, I guess. We'll go down a different staircase now. Okay, no distortion, that's fine. Just checking, because the, the, the force mold's like... Oh, there might be something here. So I had to just quickly read through that log. Just make sure I didn't see any distortion stuff. A lot of rocks on the floor right now. What's going on here? This is Shoals 3, right? Yeah. That's a lot of freaking merfolk. I mean, this is Shoals, but there's a lot of merfolk. Yeah. There we go. Nice. You know, I think one thing that Kroll is missing, kind of... Like, and that might just be because it's a roguelike with a very specific, narrow focus, is, like, non-combat branches. Like, when I first thought of the shoals, I never thought of merfolk. I actually just thought, like, oh, it's like a beach. I wonder if that, what that means. Um, but, like, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if there was, like, a, an area, like, labyrinth, sort of, where, that rewarded you for movement and different, like, puzzles and stuff, rather than... I mean, it would be spoilery, I guess, but, like, a lot of things are spoilery in this game. Like, having, like, puzzles in a roguelike would be pretty cool. Like, a branch that's just a puzzle. Labyrinth is okay, but, like, it's kind of dull off the ball. Especially because it's not, like, a puzzle so much as it's just a maze. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I just kind of want to, like, have... Maybe there's a roguelike that's just, like, oh, it's randomly generated puzzles. Maybe that's what I want. I don't know. With permadeath. 
You fail the puzzle, you die in real life. You have to sign, you sign the contract at the beginning of the game, it's like, if I fail this puzzle, slip my own wrists. Like, that's, that's the only option. That's heroism finesse here. Alligator turtles ain't nothing to fuck with. Let's just kill it as quick as we can. It's a tanky motherfucker, it does so much damage. No. God gifted plain armor, that's pretty good plain armor. Plus 6 RLEC is pretty freaking good. 3420 is 54, this is 59, so it is better. Uh, contaminated with magic. I'm just gonna wait it out, whatever. Just pray that we don't get mutated, whatever. Ah, fuck, alright, well that was terrible. <sighs> Let's just mutate. Hey, I'm mute, I love it. Not bad. <laughs> that was pretty good actually, I like that. I respect that. I can respect that. It's hard to believe that this is only video 2. Like, it's actually very weird, this video 2. This might actually be like a 3 or 4 part video series, which is interesting. Normally nowadays my videos are about 5 long, but this could be much shorter. As a generic dude that just shoots stuff. But yeah, what do I think of crossbows right now? Um, pretty good, but probably because I have a really broken crossbow. Not so much because like it's actually a good archetype. I think crossbows are okay though. They're not like amazing. Right? I just dropped that crystal plate in the fucking water again. God damn it. <sighs> God damn it. Why? Why do I do this thing? Why do I do these things to myself? You know what I mean? Like just hmm. Not great. Not ideal. Not not the best strategy, I would say. I mean not that I would ever use that crystal plate, but it's just like I wish I didn't throw it into the water like an idiot. Because I can't even pick it back up. Alright, merfolk, you can just sit there and take 54 shots of my fucking crossbow, sure. It's absolutely fine. Oh no, it's a satyr. <laughs> what are you gonna do if I move one tile to the right? Idiot. Can't do anything. These guys think that they can face me in a, in a, in a missile war. Yeah, that's definitely gonna happen, guys. Yeah, just keep staying at, at max range. It's definitely gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay all the way over there. Don't swarm me or anything. Just, just kind of like... Try to have a 1v1 on me. With my area of expertise. That's absolutely gonna work. Uh, yeah, fear me. I, You know me. Classic to my... Is that a sword? That's a cool sword. Is that a sword of jihad? It is. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. It's the zealot sword. No, no it's the sword of jihad. Like, it was always called the sword of G jihad. That's fucking sick, actually. Holy rage RN evade plus 3. I don't think it does anything else, though. It's not, like, super incredible. Yeah, it's not really like a... It's not really like special in any way. It's just a sword. It looks cool though. Damn, it looks sick as fuck actually. Holy shit, that looks awesome. I guess we'll hold on to it, just as a meme. Also, technically it has a hidden utility that you can switch to it and gain 3 of 8 instantly. Which is not bad for like teleporting and whatnot. It's a half It's a half turn anyway for 3 of 8. It's not too bad. It's like hot swapping. Yeah, actually that's a pretty decent strat. I mean... I don't want to fight with it though, that's the problem. It has random rage, which is not good. And it's only a holy brand weapon, which is kind of shit as well. So it's like, eh. There's no real reason for me to use it, but I could definitely see myself teleporting and then using the evade. But then, the question is, why would I do that when I could just, you know, shoot stuff with my, with my gun that I've got here? Like, let's not get it wrong. I do not have a crossbow in my hands. I have a, 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 a hand cannon, if you will. Like, it's really just shooting... It shoots a bolt, but like, I can only imagine the bolt's the size of my body because of how fucking hard it hits. Like, this thing fucking hurts. It doesn't make any sense what the cri triple crossbow is either, but, you know, nice meme. Back in the day when fucking devs had, you know, ow, that hurt. Back when they had a, a lore in mind, a grand vision, if you will. Nowadays, not so much. What does it say? Like, it says, three strings arranged in a series to provide exceptional power. Initially designed as a siege weapon and scaled down. Oh, I guess it is. I guess it is a real one. I'm thinking of... I thought they were talking about triple sword. I think that might be what I'm thinking about, actually. Heroism finesse. It'll soon fuck off. Don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. Don't... Don't get those stupid little idiots on my case. Stop that shit right away, please. Enough fucking around, okay? That's right. That's what I thought. Don't you ever do that to me again, Ilsu. Get the fuck out of here. 
God, I'm still getting mesmerized. Let me shoot. For God's sake. Why are there steam dragons here? Wait a second. Are steam dragons even real? Didn't they remove those? What the fuck? What are the steam dragons doing here? I picked up a rune at some point, I think. A nymph. A water nymph. Trying to face me. In hand-to-hand -hand combat. In hand-to-bowstring combat. Foolish. Foolish endeavor, to say the least. <sighs> Man, I wish I could take a nap. I'm just eternally tired right now. I always have, like, enough sleep, but it just, it's not good quality sleep anymore. I miss my old bed, man. Fucking tired. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Someone's pinging me. I don't know what that's all about, but yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at that off recording. Until then, see you all tomorrow.